Hello guys, it's Jenny Jen the Plant Friend coming to you with another planty video. I know. Anywho, if this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. It's storming outside. It's like thunder. Um, if this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. If you are a returning subscriber, you already know. Love you guys. <laughs> I know it, right? Too much. Over the top. Anywho, thank you for coming back. Always watching the video, supporting me, all of that good stuff on my Etsy channel and everything. So yeah, um, we're going to get some pro propagations done, uh, potting up some things that seem to be our life these days with this plant shop. It's just always something. Um, I am, and I'm going to put this in the atmosphere. I am looking for wholesalers because I want to start introducing other plants into this shop, but um, I don't really want to do overseas, but if you have a, a legitimate, strong, you know, you've ordered from them and gotten great results, I may consider that. But for right now, anything local you, in, within the United States, okay? So I'm looking for wholesalers. So if you know of any, you can kind of comment and leave at the bottom. I have reached out to a couple of my um, subscribers who've been so helpful and I got some things in the works, but I just wanted to put it across the airways so that if there are others out there that know, they can help me as well. So yeah, so um, let's get into this video for today so that we can um, get some things, some new things on the shop. I went through my um i'm gonna be a little chatty today by the way <laughs> but i went through my um shop and like I, I remember etsy saying something about uh things would expire after so many months or whatever i guess if it hasn't sold or whatever and so yeah there were like several things in the um shop but they weren't posted on etsy and um and so yeah so i was able to get those uploaded and then i've all a matter of fact one i sold a lot of within three days um i have one or two of the others that i put up this week um and then somebody mentioned about the hughes kelliana um i am going to propagate i've propagated her before and then in my last video i pulled a, that just completely died i don't know what i did but I just separated it you know it was a, a small plant in there and I separated it from the mother plant and it just dried up like it just died I don't know if it went into shock or whatever but what I'm going to do today I'm not gonna um, I've already kind of separated what I wanted to cut down and so I am just gonna cut a small piece so there's not gonna be a whole lot of this one um, and um, yeah I have a, a area root there so I'm just going to go ahead and snip this right here and um, whoa, I couldn't remember if this was one of those, where'd it go, that just starts running immediately. And so yeah, so we'll get this separated um, and this is the one that has, this is the only stem that has about four peduncles on it. You won't be able to see them. They're very tiny little clusters. And they, so I see one, two, three. I thought it was a fourth one. Four. Yeah. And so we're, I'm not going to take that down, but I'm just going to have sort of let that cascade at the bottom like, like so and keep her, um, and just keep her in this situation for a little bit longer. Um, I am, um, I am looking to, you know, with the wholesalers, Hoyas, preferably. That seems to be my my jam. Um, but other other plants as well. So I am going to. Um, oh, she's still cute. Look at her. She is still so cute. But I, I'm going to leave her alone for a while after today, and just sort of let her grow out. And um, but if I find a wholesaler, you know, <clears throat> then I'll purchase more. Um, Who's Kelliana? That seems to be a popular one. There's another one that I, I sort of thought I was going to propagate today, and that's my variegated fishtail hoya. Um, this is really cute, but it's not going to stay like this, guys. Um, 
So cute. I just love the uh, Hooch Kelliana. And if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, it's okay. The plant doesn't know. Um, Hirsch Kelliana, Hoosh Kelliana, whichever it is. So there's some area roots there. And I believe I'm going to propagate this guy in perlite. I think I'm going to... Uh, and so there's a split. Like that's what happens. It grows a vine and splits off and grows another vine, splits off. So they're like one, two... So there's three vines. I hate losing these little cute leaves, but I already know. I like to find where there's just one leaf so I don't have to lose two. This one, this one there. So I'll cut it here. Man, it's coming down out there. Um, So we ended up with like four, but this is the nicest one of all. This is the one that has the, the um, split. See, it has the where the vines came off of this one. So I'm not going to separate that. Let's see. Well, we'll see when I do the final pot up potting. Uh, yeah, but I, I will see. But for now, and then we have this one which has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve leaves on it. And again, I may have to take off those bottom leaves to get it to root. Um, definitely on this one, I can see that happening. Okay. We'll snap a picture in the end when we get these potted up. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one is an up potting well so the next one that I was considering propagating is my Hoya um, fungi eye this guy <laughs> I got it from Gabriella plants in 22 September of 22 but the leaves are like humongous and I, I, I propagated her before uh, I try to, try to let them rest in between, not just keep cutting. So let's just see what we can propagate. Like this is a fresh leaf, hadn't even hardened off yet. So, and then there are several leaves in there coming out. Oh, some new leaves back there too. Have to try not to bump them and knock them off. Oh, there's a couple peduncles, they're not active, but. Okay, look at those two, those new leaves there. And then that's the peduncle. Again, it's not active, but I believe this is the vine that I wanted to cut from, but let's see. And so that one is this one. There we go, that's what I was trying. Oh, that's the one with the new leaf. Oh, and a new peduncle, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well we'll cut above it and see what happens. We won't cut the peduncle. Let's see like four new leaves in there um so the peduncle is on this branch so i'll cut above it and i'll cut here i am cutting off a peduncle but it, it's oh sheesh two peduncles it's okay um but this leaf hasn't hardened off and these two um that one's a new leaf, but we'll, we'll just put it there. Oh. Okay, there we go. It's the one with the new leaves on it, so let's see what we can... Oh, interesting. Okay, there we go. So, oh, I see. Okay, so everything is coming off of this vine. So the new leaf with the new peduncles are all, that's what it is. So what about this vine? Let's see if anything's on this one. Maybe I'll take that one off. 
I don't see any peduncles. I don't see any new leaves. So we'll take, a, we won't take it all the way, but we'll take here because that's the one we don't want to cut and let's see what we can do with this side so they're like two like it splits off and then so now what I would do is these are all hard enough so I don't have to take it all the way down I can just take it this is where I propagated it before and since I propagated it here on this piece where my finger is all of this growth has come out and now this is the stem that doesn't have a peduncle so I could propagate it below because I know I want to propagate my plants and then once I start I'm like oh that's too much that's not there let's hold up there's a peduncle don't do it not yet <laughs> She's still a very full plant. It's mostly the one vine, but that's okay. I am just going to allow these leaves to harden off. And this is just, a, I'm just taking this vine off. Um, nothing on it, but anyway. And I'm just gonna, something like that. And we'll leave her like that for now. That's enough. She's still a beautiful full plant. Um, and so, all right, that's good. We'll leave her there and let her grow out again. Thank you, fungi eye. I know. S call me special, call me special. All right, so let's figure out how we wanna do this. Cause it'd be nice to do like four leaves, this one would be another four leaf. This one would be a three and a two. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll cut it here. And so then we have this one, which is a four leaf. And this one, which is a four leaf. Look at those beautiful large leaves. Okay. And then this one is going to be a three, which would be the two there and the one that's tucked in the back there. And this one also has like a two. It may be a three because I might put this one with that and make it a three. That's pretty. Yeah, that's hard. Hard. Okay. Um, this is where the peduncle is. I will try to leave this, but I cannot guarantee you that that's going to make it. So, I'm just going to wrap it around like so. And, let's see. and we'll just have to see if it, if it makes it. It has two peduncles on it, but they're not active peduncles. Um, let's see. So what it is, is this one doesn't have any peduncles. That's the two. And if I add this one to it, this is the stem that has the two peduncles. I just want to explain that. Because I want people to say, you said it had two peduncles and da da da. No, I did not. Now I have, have it on tape, on video. Okay. So I think we're going to just wrap this around. We'll try to leave it. Like I said, we'll try. And I, I think I'm going to do these in perlite today. Uh, you know, I normally do the... Um, I normally do the um, Hoyas in the water and everything. But you just kind of change as you go. You know, you find something that's working. And it's not that the water isn't working. And it would definitely work. Actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do... Okay, let's start. Okay, so I'm going to just propagate these in water like I normally would. Um, because they have all of these area roots. Whenever they're, they're the area roots on the side of the stem... I had a 
call coming in. Um, whenever there are area roots on the side of the stem, those will root very easy. So I don't mind doing those in water. But if there's no area root, then I'm going to try and um, propagate them in pearl. Not try. I'm going to propagate them in perlite. And um, because because they'll um, propagate easier in the perlite. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm trying to hold on to this stem with these peduncles, but I really don't know if that's going to work out. So don't hold me to that. Please don't hold me to that. So we'll try to root it. <laughs> anyway, I'm spending way too much time on that. Okay, so these are all... I'm going to put them so they can dry out. But we're going to go like this. I'm pretty sure we're going to leave these together. I'll... If you, whatever you see on the site is what I ended up doing because um, I might just this one I would well we'll see <laughs> okay so that's the fungi eye and so the next one is not a propagation it is um, well, I propagated my Hoya gracilis and and they're ready. Like I propagated these in water. So we're gonna go ahead and the roots came in nicely. So we'll have to figure out how we're going to pot these guys up like there's one more don't think this one's on the site I can't remember but we'll get it there if it's not all right so we have this one has oh it's not rooting you know what because I don't know it may be gone but I think it I needed to take off this bottom leaf so I'm going to take that stem off and try to root this in in perlite and we'll see um, this one's good and this one is good got some roots it's not like screaming roots but And then I think I'm going to take these two and root them more in perlite. And then this one might let it go. We'll let it dry and then we'll put these in perlite. This one, I could try to take this leaf off and see what happens, but it's not. It looks like it's dried up a little bit. So I'm just, I mean, I don't have anything to lose. So I'm just going to um, put it in with these other two that need to root. And then... Um, so yeah, so we got that taken care of. Okay. And then let's see, what's the next one? This is just as a reminder to myself what I'm going to put this in. Okay. And then the next one is, um, I wanted to go ahead and put this Chia Pence because it has not sold no root rot thank goodness it didn't look like any it's just it was kind of slimy down there um okay her not shipping it in the lecker just don't want to put 
the chia pence has not been doing very well in the um is drying out too much in the um moss so we're gonna i'm just gonna put it temporarily in this and then when i get ready to ship it out of course i would take it out of this so the other thing is my <laughs> my um little um pink princess here um so i've been putting cakey paste on the pink princess to see if i can um get them to activate nodes i only have it on one oh no two on this one um I can't really say yet. I'm still the jewelry's still out on cakey paste for me. Now my strawberry shake is like blossoming. It is doing very well. Um, so I really prefer when there's thinner roots. Uh, the pawn. Easy enough. Easy peasy. That's her. And I, I'm kind of done with the wick, so I have to watch this and make sure I keep the water level up um, when I use these clear pots like this. But the wicks, you know, the plant grows down. I have to pull the wick out. And yeah. So the next up pot will be my, the last bit of my strawberry, not strawberry shape. I wish. <laughs> the la No, I don't wish. But anyway. So this is my... Uh, Hoya Sunrise that really all but died and I kept just like a little and I kept just a little bit of it and it started to come back so I don't know what happened with this guy but actually now that pot looks too big ah Okay, so what I want to do What I'm trying to do is I don't really need the lucky balls in the bottom of this pot, so So now th th I'm not going to use the bottom of this um, because it brings a lot of algae and I'm just not that fond of this little setup. I thought I would be as self-watering and everything, but um, I mean, I could, I don't know, I guess I could just leave it in there. It's just gonna get really yucky very fast. So then I'll just fill this up with water to the fill line here. Okay, so that's the sunrise. Put it there so I can see. And then, this i don't know what's going on with this guy but it's been it's not been doing well um like this whole vine is like almost drying up i'm not sure what that means um so what i wanted to do is take it out so i can see if i can figure out what's going on with it i did propagate this guy quite a bit i really did um that's the other thing about when you just constantly propagating them when initially they're pushing out like lots of new growth and but then after that you got to give it a rest and let the plant, plant just rest for a minute okay so what i want to do is just pull this out i've up potted it but and it has nutrients so that's not it and didn't see any pests so now we're just gonna pour it out like so and see these top roots are like drying out and then this this particular vine what I was gonna do is just take um, I thought I was going to is it attached um, Well, I guess I'll leave it, but I don't want it in that pot. I think I think we should try a smaller pot. Maybe that's it. Better for it. I don't know. 
I really don't know. This is my Hoya Sigla lettuce. And so we're just going to put it in here and see what happens. Keep it posted. So we'll see. I mean, whoa. So I'm not going to propagate her uh, for a while um, because really this this entire side like that's really all that's left of this plant so i'm potting up my this is an eclipse and i haven't done well with the eclipse so i don't know what's going on with it so i haven't put it on the shop but i it's kind of coming back um oh it is a new leaf did i put it i pulled it off i didn't even see it down there um but yeah so We'll see about this guy. I haven't put it on the shop, like I said, because it's just not, I don't know. I don't know. And then this one has a new leaf also. I'll try not to knock that one off. But it rooted very nicely, and it's been rooting for a minute, but I couldn't see the roots, and they were all kind of in the uh, pod there. Um, but... So I think I have a couple more over there. We'll see what else we can put in moss today. So this is another eclipse that's been rooting a while that I can't see the roots. So let's just take it out. And the roots, are, they go this way. That is so weird to me. Oh my, I may not... Mm. Look at my shears. Makes me want to just take them all down now and check them because of the way the roots are going. All of them are probably doing the same, and they are, because this was another one. So let me show you what it's. See how the roots are not coming out of the bottom? So I'm looking at the bottom, but I can't see these roots that are on the side that are growing up in the pod like that I don't know why I have no idea so let's just take them all apart and we'll look again the roots look are going to the side. I think I'm going to put this one in perlite because the roots are not really, they're coming but they're not there yet. And it's been in water way too long so I'm going to just move it to perlite. Now we can go ahead, this one's been sitting so we're going to go ahead and put it in the perlite and then when I put the water in it I'm just going to fill it all the way up when I propagate I fill the water all the way up okay so that's that one um, let's see Okay, so we're potting up the fungi. Um, we're going to try to leave these together. That clips just hold it down in the so that the roots can. Um, it, so that the stem can be in the water and, and it will root. So we ended up with four um, plants of the fungi. Um, let's do, let's pot up the fungi and then this one. Oh. There's only one that I feel good about potting up in the 
the rest of it the roots are right up against the leaf so even if like with this one even taking these two leaves off I'm not gonna have any thing to root so I think because they don't have the well this one has one so we're gonna do an experiment we're gonna put this one in water and the rest we're gonna put in perlite and see how that works out because um, the that's the only one that has that well this one has one but yeah maybe that one roots at the end that's not close to the leaf that's what I'm, I'm not continuing my sentence to say and so when they don't have any roots at the end like that or along the stem they they're a little harder to root so I want to start doing those in perlite so I'm just gonna put all of these in perlite and we'll probably end up with about four of them um, when I finish but for now they're just gonna be wonky wonk in this um, perlite we're gonna just go with that for now well see I could cut this one. Oh yeah I could it's got roots right there oh but that's such a tiny piece okay well let's machiners wipe them down where is it this one has has a root there so we're gonna cut it just below that root like so and this one I will root in the water with the others and this one I'll put I'm gonna put it in the perlite that's what I'm going to do this will be a neat little experiment to see which roots the fastest all right so but this remember this is not gonna stay like this this is just how I'm rooting it it's probably gonna be maybe two stems each um, anywhere from eight to ten leaves so that's that one and so this one because they have the roots at the end we're going to we're going to try them in the water again we're this is just doing the rooting process i'll probably um there is one plant in here that splits and has two uh, vines that I may sell as one as opposed to separating it but the the rest will be separated so I don't want to confuse anybody but my healthy pop drop I could do a commercial for okay and then we're gonna do all of those like that so there we go I'm gonna get this guy on a heat mat and yeah let's see we need to put water in these and get them on the heat mat and I am gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures of the fungi eye and put it on this um, site oh, one more um, because I will sell this one rooted or unrooted because of the roots that are on the side, you'll you'll easily be able to root this one. Two drops. Okay. Then we'll just clip them back down. We're just using the clips to hold it down in the pot like so. By the way, I purchased these clips from the dollar store. You can get them on Amazon, but I've been getting them for the past couple years from the Dollar Tree, actually. Um, same as the ones on Amazon, but much cheaper. It, uh, the big ones and the small one comes in the same pack. Alright, so that's it for the fungi, but we'll, we'll post these in a few minutes. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do is propagate my um, Hoya Abavada. 
uh, Varagata. And um, this guy is just growing like crazy. She's, um, she is. So I wanted to propagate her while we were at it today. And, um, let's see. So we are going to, um, well, there are two branches that sort of comes up and, and split off. So we're going to put her back down here and like, there's nothing on that branch. So we'll leave it, but this one splits off here. So I think we'll take it. She's already outgrown the pole, so we'll take her down a little bit here. So I think we will do it right here. Yeah. So, and then the branch, as you can see in the back, you can see it more so in the back how it sort of branched off. So it'll be like a looks like a three and a three maybe um, well actually yeah probably a three and a three so we'll go about here like that yeah making sure we got the roots where we can um, prop where we can um, when I propagate them in water if they have those roots on the side they propagate very easy um, so that and then this stem here is not it has two but I, I, I'll just this one and then it has a new growth point there so we'll even though there's nothing here, we're not going to, um, I'm not going to take it down any further than that. So, so yeah, so let's, I don't need to do anything else to this, but just let it callous over a little bit and then we will put it in um, water. Okay guys, so the last thing I need to do um, is with soil and you know I'm not that a fan of soil and, and working with soil and all of that stuff. So it's been a minute. Let me just stir my soil up here. I keep some mixed up just for the few plants that I do have in soil. And so my firm leaf cactus, I think. Yeah, that's what this is called. I don't know how to pronounce this scientific name, but firm leaf cactus. This guy has been growing so good for me. And I need to up pot her. And hopefully it's just going to be a move from this terracotta to the larger one here like a full swoop I don't know I said hopefully so I'm gonna put some soil in the bottom okay and then trying to figure out which way to grab this I don't think it's like terribly root bound, but it, it is root bound. This is weird. Like it, there's no grab point. Oh, oh, that was brilliant. Oh my goodness. Soil went, see, that's why I don't like working with soil. My goodness. Oh my God. It's all down there. Oh, okay. Whatever. It really wasn't too bad, but, um, since it's out, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh my goodness. It doesn't matter how I prepare for this. I always make such a mess. And that's mostly because I don't do it enough. <laughs> so I need to get it, give it a good watering. Oh God, I see that mess. She already looks better in her pot. She just looks more even now. It's like three in here. It looks like three shoots. I think I started with two. One or two. But I love this guy. 
See, all of my plants are not Hoyas. See? I know you guys know I have philodendrons and everything else, but I'm just saying mostly I focus on Hoyas. Oh, the mess that I made. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes this video for today. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Check me out on Etsy. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Facebook. Just check me out.